everyone, Rob here from the Snapcast, and I'm joined by, again, one of my favorite guests I have in here. Jeff, thank you for joining me. It's a big oh. day today. Um, you're holding it right now, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to bring it into view for those that can see. Modern Horizons has finally arrived, and I have my case here, and we're going to open up one of these boxes. I just got to the shop today. It is Thursday here at Camden Battlegrounds, and we're going to be able to get a nice preview of what I have in my box. Now I have three of these. So locals, big thing to pay attention to. In a couple weeks, we're gonna be doing an event where we're gonna be giving, or not giving away, but first place will be winning one of these beautiful Modern Horizon boxes. So we're gonna open this one. Uh, if you can just move this box aside, Jeff. Let me move that aside for you. Oh, right, oh, packaging is great. You got. Sarah, the bene uh, benevolent, I believe, is the gloriousness that she is there. We're going to open up. And the display on this one is similar to what we saw with Battle Bond, I want to say. So just to give you a heads up on, on this, I've been checking out a couple YouTubers who will remain nameless, so copyright yep. Frenchman, of course. How they open up, they'll open up just like this. They'll open up with a with a token in front, Okay. followed with the with an art card. For Ooh. art series, so anything that you're going to see on any of the cards is actually going to be on this art series. Behind that is either going to be the foil or the snow-covered land, and then after the foil is the snow-covered land, then it'll be the rare okay. or mythic. All right, so I will open them backwards. Oh, this is beautiful here. This is wonderful art. This was what the uh, the display box is wrapped in, so definitely don't just cast that aside. Of course, we got our spacer, that's trash, and then our beautiful 36 packs. All right, so got to figure out a good way to get everything set up here. Got sleeves set up, got decks I need to sort out for rentals. All right, so enough of that. Let's go with the first one. Let's get it cracking. Okay, so commons then are going to start here on the bottom, correct? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should be the count. See if anything good. Cleaving sliver, unearth. Okay. Of slivers. Not too bad. Here. Oh, you good? Just that way there, it's not upside down. Phantom Ninja, Reckless Charge. Commons up there. Yep. All right. One, two, three. Uncommon. We got Trample Thicket. Good old Cycling Lands. Vengeful Devil and Shatter Assumptions. What are we looking at here? Grave Shifter. Wing Shards. And Goblin Matron. Okay. Goblin Matron was a reprint. Uh, Legacy Goblins ran it. Oh, yeah. People will know love All that. Right. Especially Goblin so, Players. This should be Snow Covered Land. The art. Ooh, good token. Two-sided bird and squirrel. Squirrels are where it's going to be at. There's the art for you. Ooh, that's Bob, isn't it? No. no. Beautiful, though. I love these full art lands. There you go. Okay, and what do you got? Uh, you got good old Ophi here. Not the fog. No, not the fog one. And then Goblin Engineer. Oh Lord, good, good right. pull. So far, so good. This will be a little bit longer of a video. I'm going to try to get as many of these art cards on display, just because I do think they are wonderful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lance Sliver here. Good old Thornado. Okay. Crows and Tusker, another Lance Sliver. Some people think Slivers is going to be able to do well. Others, they're waiting, holding judgment. I have a Sliver deck Whoops. ready to go while I'm just waiting on some of the Slivers to come out of here myself. Might as well show this off. Lightning uh, Skeletal Metal. So I got a foil in my pack. Ooh. Did I miss that on 
One of my commons. Yep, Crypt Rats. Alright, we got the art. Generous gift. So this one here, we actually found out uh, thanks to one of our other players, uh, Matt, or Zach Gollum. Shout out to Zach Gollum. <laughs> we found out the generous gift and it's foils. If it's a foil, is actually worth twelve dollars right now. Yeah, merit Lage token. Merit. Oh, nice. Okay. Then we got the land. Uh, Covered forest. forest and foil lava belly sliver and Ooh, there's ooh. a sword first mythic money sword of truth and justice all right so sword of truth and justice equipped creature gets plus two plus two pro white and black whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player put a plus one plus one counter on a creature you control then proliferate uh cmc of three with an equip cost of two then i'll go ahead and sleeve up the foil sliver Next one. All right, brother. Ah, uh, here, let's get these yeah, of over with uncommons. Now, I like that this set has 36 packs in it instead of your typical, like, 24 that we see when it comes to not really a master set. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Common? Okay, we're good. Nothing too crazy there. No, nothing too crazy here either. Frostwalk Bastion, Arrowhead Sliver, and Burling Bows. The Indomitable Tree Folk, Nantaku Cultivator, and Ingenious Infiltrator. Nice Soldier and Golem Token. Art. And these art cards. I really enjoy these art cards here. Yeah, they are something. I ended up with the Plains as my land. Mount Mountain. Mountain. Cabal Therapist. Altar of Dementia. Nice. Woo! Decent pull. Yep. God, that was back in the day. Yeah, then Tempest Block, wasn't it? Yeah. I believe so. And Cabal Therapist, of course. It was one of the first cards that they spoiled. Yep, that one and Sarah the Benevolent, the Planeswalker. Yes. Eight, nine, ten. Common, no foil. Got Frost Wallet in here. Spell Snuff. Savage Swipe, okay. All the Claws, Choking Feathers. Yep. Oh, the Goose? Little Nimble Mongoose. <laughs> Uncommons, got Carrion Feeder, Twisted Reflection, Lanamore Tribe. Ooh, Lanamore Tribe. Okay, my bad, and I'm got partial to Elves. Battle Screech, Munitions Expert, and Everdream. You know me, love me some Elves. Mine is a... Soldier and an elemental token. Got the running six token. Hopefully, I have running six here. Love these art cards. Yeah, they look good. They really do look good. Swamp in the plains. Mm -hmm. And. We passed. Sunbaked Canyon. Ooh, there we go. That's a good, good one. That's Boros bucks pool right, right there. there, buddy. That's money. That's an auto include and burn. These cycle, these canopy lands, if you have them, hold on to them. Uh, we see what um, Horizon Canopy is at. That being $60, $70 card. These probably won't hit that high, but they will be incredibly valuable. Now, Rob, I can't confirm or deny that as an elf, a green white elf player, I would definitely want to have a couple more Horizon Canopies. And especially the green black one that's out for green black elf players. Oh my, they'll be screaming for that. Oh, yes. Pondering Mage, which is just bad ponder. It's on a on a creature. Oh, I didn't... War Party, Ikite, Martyr's Soul. 
Mazawa's Charm, Nimble Mongoose, Diabolic Edict, there you File, go. Winter's Rest, Weather the Storm, and Magmatic Sinkhole. Nice. Good commons there. Oop, squirrel nest. Squirrel nest. Boom. Number one. I'm going to set that aside. I need that. <laughs> I got some things I'm doing with intruder alarm. And an angel and a shapeshifter token. All right. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to clean up the art cards for now. All righty. And then we'll get eight more laid out. Art card. Ooh. Beautiful. That's the Simic Land art. Oh. Elephant Zombie. Ren and Six Art. Teaser. Yep. Uh, land. Snow Covered Forest. Even the foils on these snow covers are nice. Yes, and they're money as well. Kess, Dissident Mage. And Ooh. Nurturing Peatland. Nurturing Peatland. And what did I say? Again, another <laughs> $20 bill. Those are worth some money. And then that's. Second mythic for the box. Now, Rob, if you ever get four of those, I do one. I'm getting my place at first. <laughs> so if I get eight, then yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, uncommon. I got a foil in my pack. All right, nothing too great. We're not talking really limited, mainly talking constructed when it comes to these cards, so I apologize, folks, for that. Good old black blade, or blade back sliver. All right. Three you know, Rob, I could take some of those off your hands. Three uncommons. <laughs> <laughs> Wall of Blossoms, Throat Seeker, and Rotwood Opaque. Face of Divinity. Talisman of Curiosity, Forgotten Cave. You think those cycle lands are going to be a thing? Potentially. There, there are there are decks out there that could utilize it. Oh, Foil, Soldier Token. Nice. Put that over and there. an Elephant and Goblin Token. There we go. Beautiful art. All right, so. Okay. Island and Mountain. So this is my Foil then. Good old Morassa Behemoth. Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna Good pull. I'll take it over here. Yeah, keep that out. Yep. And then pull for the there. rare, Merit Lages Slumber. Ooh, and you actually have the token for that. Yep. And Fallen Shinobi, nice. All right. Probably one of the better of the, the ninjas. Yeah, there are a couple ninjas in there as well. I was actually Four, five, surprised six, seven, the, amount, eight, the amount that I saw. Yeah, they took a good uh just mix of like everything in modern and brought it out. Cleaving Sliver. Reckless Charge, Phantom Ninja, Imposter of the Sixth Pride, Spinehorn Minotaur. I don't even have a Minotaur in here. Rhyme Tender, Ward Eye Witch, Universal Automaton, Trumpeting Herd, Nature's Chant, and Rocks Veteran. Nice. Okay, Uncommons. Undead Augur and Conifer Worm. Exclude and Soul Herder. And Rebuild and Throws of Chaos. Ooh, Foil Shapeshifter. Foil Shapeshifter token. Non-foil Construct and Shapeshifter. <laughs> Definitely one of the ninja arts, don't know the card. And I just like Big Frog. Forest. Mountain. Mountain. Unsettled Mariner. Ooh, Ooh and the Mox. Mox. The Mox, a lot of people aren't giving it a lot when it comes to the Mox. They think it's going to be medium. Um, just because you have to suspend it for three turns. Uh, Unsettled Mariner, a lot of people are seeing this one going into not just humans, but also uh, potentially into spirits, as well as into slivers, since it is a shapeshifter changeling, so it's every creature type. There was even slight talk of it going into merfolk, but I doubt that's actually going to happen. Yeah. The humans is probably going to be the dominant spot, that and spirits. Yep. And for those wondering why, like why slivers isn't as good 
as the other two tribes, humans and uh, spirits. The abilities that the humans and uh, spirits creatures have, we've talked about it on the podcast. Some of them are like legacy playable cards. I'm going to tune in on that Four, tonight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And just the power on them is immense. Oh, I got another foil in this pack. You know, you're the one that's got the luck with that, I'll tell you. Another frost wall. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ooh, spring bloom. Ninja of the new moon. Ah. Spring Bloom Druid. Battlefield Sacrifice Land. If you do search your library for up to two basic land cards. Ooh, that's a good one for a lands deck. Okay. Yep. Ten days. All right. Three uncommons. Tempered Sliver. Ooh, good. Firebolt. Splicer Skill and Tribute Mage. Then Smiting Helix and Pillage. Pillage. I haven't seen Pillage in a minute. Wow. And we got, of course, Bear Token, Elemental Token. And a Foil Illusion. Got that over there. Over here. Oh, Chiller Pillar Art. I recognize that one. <laughs> the art for me is, ooh, Hyula. Yep. First among bears. Yeah, the legendary bear. My bear, baby. Okay. All right. Land. And a forest again. It's calling my name. Rob, <laughs> it's calling my name. Oh, so I got a foil. So force and negation. Ooh, force and negation. There's money. Nether spirit and then a foil of spell snuff. We'll put that yep. over there. Here. That and force and negation I think carries a moderate price tag to it. It does carry a good price tag to it. Definitely have to check it out. Yep. We'll clean up our art. I love these. They do look good. They're they're gonna be collectible too. Yeah. I know it. Get them framed is what I would like to do. Get a nice frame for them. Okay. No foil this pack. Land sliver, crows and tusker, bellowing elk. Early form cyclops. Ah, there's your chiller pillar. There we go. Mother Bear. Ooh. That was Fury. And there's 54 of those art cards. They need to call me the Elvish Fury here, you know that? Oh, hey, it even should. tells you what the art is on the back of the art card. <laughs> oh, no, that's cheating. And now we don't even have to guess, but where's the fun in that? Moment. All right, Uncommon. So you got Ruination Rider. Okay, King of the Pride. Got Dredgescape, or yeah, Dredgescape Sliver. Lava Belly Sliver. So Ooh. You got the Sliver pack there. You're rare. Oh, hang on, let me get these out. You got a foil. I have a foil card. So we got my Illusion Token. Our Land. The Rare. Ayula's Influence. Foil Uncommon. Then Archmage's Charm. It's like the the slightly cheaper and weaker of the uh, cryptic command, of the it? cryptic command. Yeah. Okay. It'll still do the trick. Exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, no foil. And the way that I'm able to determine that you count out your ten uncommons. But if you only have nine, you have a foil card. So if your tenth card's uncommon, you have a foil. Good old spore frog, a blade back, sliver. Got here. Lava dart, chiller pillar again, goblin war party, tree folk umbra, as for smoke shaper, shaper, shelter, shenanigans, defile, and winter's rest. Nice. Sir. Your spider and goblin token. Yep, bear and elemental. All right, uncommons. Talisman of hierarchy. King of the pride. Ooh. Ravenous giant. Cunning evasion. And this is a redo art of a djinn from, I want to say, Arabian Night. It's almost the exact same art, but instead of a djinn, it's a giant. Juzam djinn, as a matter of fact, it was two and two black. Yep. Each upkeep, you lose a life, but it was four, or it was two and two black. 
And it was a 5-5 five, five creature. <laughs> so it's the exact same thing. All right. Then Talisman of Curiosity. Those are the uncommons. Get those up. We have our art card. We got Sword of Sinew and Steel from me. Land, good old swamp, forest. Forest. Giver of runes, so mother runes, and then Mirrodin Besiege. All right. Okay. Probably about halfway through the box. Don't forget to like and share, everybody. Absolutely. Great time to plug that. If you like seeing these videos or more videos that we do have to offer, be sure like, subscribe, hit that bell for that notification. Two, three, four, five, six. Punch seven, that eight, like button nine, right in the nose. Okay, no foil. Ooh. Oh, all the blue players will love that card. Oh, fact, fact or fiction. fiction. That was your first uncommon, so you only have two uncommons. Oh. You have a foil in your pack. I have a foil in my pack. All right. One, I cannot two, count, three, sir. Four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. No, it's because you had nine commons. And there's a full construct. Look at there. Nice. So you counted to ten. It's just your top card was an uncommon. So I got soldier and squirrel token. I'll put that bad boy right there. You All and right. your squirrels, just like me and my elves. Baron Moore. Secluded steep, and um. So if you're in decoy. Yep. Regrowth. Talisman of Conviction. Get these out. Art card. Yep. Dragscape Sliver. Sword of Truth and Justice. And let's... Uh, there we go. That's, that looks nice. That looks pretty. Okay. Mountain. That's right. Just throwing mountains. Island. So what's your foil? My foil is... Uh, Salungar Scavenger. Oh. That's a bummer. Put that over there. And the rare, Kaya's Guile. Urza! Boom, Ooh. Ooh, baby! That's uh, two boxes we know of that got open with Urza. Yes, it is. Put two that there. Wow. That's four mythics I think I've pulled. Urza, Urza Mox, Sword, and Kess. What about the, no, the lands are rare. Yep, lands are rare. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Common. Their pondering mage, mother bear, phantom ninja, goblin warfighter. Three. Good old tornado. There we go. Excavating. Um, a nerd was the frog beast that we had. That's right. Okay. Okay. And ooh, foil merit lodge. Foil merit lodge, Doug. That's awesome. That that's I'm sleeping that. Pretty. Yeah, Go I'm for that, that, my brother. That's nice. All right, zombie. Twenty flying indestructible. All I got was a zombie rhino token. <laughs> All right, art card. I have. The Wart Eye Witch. Mox Tantalite for me. And the Mox Tantalite. Very cool. All right, uncommons. Squirrel Nest over here. That's our Manticore, our Master Core. Tribute Mage. First, First Slivers, Slivers Tribute. Chosen. Ah. Ooh. The only thing I think they missed on this, the First Slivers Chosen, is not CMC4, so the First Sliver cannot cascade into it. So the first sliver technically can't choose it, if you will. I think they failed on that. Yeah, that's a true statement. That's a bum route, right, too. So that's, that's two squirrels' nests. I got about a dozen packs left. Land, mountain, swamp. Swamp for me. Yogmoth. Ooh. And spiteful sliver. Ooh. That's five mythics. Here, let's get the art picked up now. I wouldn't tell the store owner if I were you. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> oh man, the thing Just is. Just like, kidding. Shout out to Lee Cleveland, store owner of Campus Battlegrounds. It's the only time you get a shout out in any of my shows, Lee. Ooh. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Common. All right. Let's see what we got here. 
Oh no, he heard me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a really loud door creak. <laughs> All right. What do we got for your commons? Make sure that I didn't pull the. Oh, you would see it right here. Yep. Yeah. There you go, brother. All right. So we got good old spell snuff, gluttonous slug, massive. All right. Uncommons. Another land of war tribe for you. Crypt Rats and Throws of Chaos. Oof. Cunning Evasion and Frostwalk Bastion. Just a regular set of tokens. Elephant Shapeshifter. Construct Bird. All right, we've got Urza the High Lord. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's Eons. Beautiful. It is a good artwork. Forest and Mountain. Mm -hmm. Best color combination to have. And then Collect... Uh, collected Conjuring Sisse. and Sisse. I like She's going into Wooberg decks. That's going to be a big EDH card. Where I think <laughs> they missed on Collected Conjuring, and it's probably good that they did it this way. Had that been instant speed, and then you get to cast two instant spells without paying their mana cost, that would have been incredibly broken. That would have been dumb. Oh my god. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As for control players, just got control players would have just gone on to town with that. I got a foil in my pack. Nope, no foil here. All right. There you go, Rob. Thank you. Good old goat nap. All right, let's get to the uncommons. All right, let's get the uncommons. All right, so we got Good Fortune Unicorn, Web Weaver. Uh, we got Scuttling Sliver and Alpine Guide. Smiting Helix and Goblin Aura Flame. Hmm. Aura Flame. Aura Flame. Make it sound fa uh, fancy. Soldier Elephant. Construct Elemental. Art, I've got Scour All Possibilities. Goblin Matron. Big go. Mama. All right. Yep. Oh, gross. Blue white. Oh, I know, right? Oh, the pain. All right, the foil. Ooh, Aula foil. I would definitely put that in a, sli in a sleeve. Yep. Pashalik Mons and... Crashing Footfalls. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so Foil Rare, first one. Put that down. Two Squirrel's Nests. You and your Squirrel's Nests. Squirrel's I can't nests wait to see this deck. I, will, I would love to play it. It's going to be awful. One, two, it's going to be awful. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's going to be featured on Jank Deck of the Week. I have another <laughs> Foil in my pack. <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, I do. All right. Trumpeting herd. On Earth. See what slivers needs to get tier one. They need a curse catcher sliver, or they need a they need shroud. They need crystalline sliver. Legal. They do need crystalline sliver once again. They need one of those, and I think that is what will take slivers up to the tier one status. So Otherwise, we either have a zombie token. Uh huh. Ooh, Ooh, Sarah Emblem. Yup. I got a Foil Elephant token. I think that's your first uh, Sarah Emblem, too, if you want that one off the side. Then Uncommons. Uh, no, yeah, we'll do art. Lesser Mana Core. Morphin the Boundless. Hmm. The good old, just massive. I haven't even seen him pulled yet at all. Okay, so we got Sling Gang Lieutenant. Talisman of something. Hierarchy. Valiant Changeling. Etchings of the Chosen. I was going to say, I don't look Lava me. Belly Sliver. That's my third one. Scale Up. Infect. All Star. Right there. And that's our first one, sadly. Yep. All right. Let's get the Uncommons out. Land. Mountain. Okay. I can go, I can get down with the Rackers. You know, no two lands have been the same. We haven't hit the same lands yet. Ooh. Cave of Temptation. I thought it was something else at first. Put that over there. Good old Cave of Temptation. Deep Forest Hermit and Endling. Mm. All right. Six more packs. Six packs to crack. Let's get to cracking, Captain. Bear. Foil bear or just regular bear? Regular bear. Five. Nope. Six, seven, eight. Shapeshifter and squirrel. Ah, 
You know, you probably want that. Yes, squirrel oh, token. Warhammer. My other one. Oh, it is a foil bear. I didn't even see that. Nice. Okay, another foil in the pack though. Frostfall, mm -hmm. ransack, recruit, scour, and flame. Right. Champion, recruit the worthy, fairy yep. seer, gluttonous slug, bellowing elk, mind rake, pondering mage, knight of new Benelia, rank officer, and spring bloom druid. Oh. And yes, that's an elf. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go uncommons. We got Valiant Changeling, Thundering Jin, Forgotten Cave, and uh, Vesper Lark. Scuttling Sliver and Saddled Rhyme Stage or Rhyme Stag. I can read. They're running out of names over 25 years. My goodness. Art, I have Sarah the Benevolent. And mine is Prismatic Vista. Nice. All right. So we've got Land. And blue White again. Oof. Foil. Ooh. Ooh, the Ophi. Ophi foil. Wasn't that the first pull we yep. pulled? Yep, that's the first rare and my second rare foil. And Force of Virtue and Force of Vigor. So two forces, a really good one and a medium one. I'm actually going to put Force of Vigor into a sleeve because... I would take Force of Vigor. Oh, no, I, I need three or probably... <laughs> I'd say probably two more or one for uh, Titan Shift. Curious to see what Modern Horizons 2 is going to have to offer. Hmm. I'm just curious as to see what Core 2020 is going to have here shortly. That's going to start getting spoiled here very soon. Yep. All right. No foil in this one. Well, Elvish Fury. I'm surprised they didn't give Elvish Fury like a tribal spell. Oh, I know. I would use it maybe one of. All right. Regular bear and goblin here. Foil zombie. Ooh. Force of despair. Silent clearing. Something tells me that's the white black campy land. Yep. Talisman of creativity. Sling gang lieutenant. Yep. Urza's rage. Vengeful devil. Ice Hide Golem and Lonely Sandbar. White Black. Yep. Dead of Winter. Ooh, beautiful Cloud card. Thresher Sliver. Yes, two drop slivers you control have flying and haste. I will take that all day. Last two packs. Last two packs. Go ahead, open yours first. Yes, sir. Garden Fireheart, Moonblade Shinobi, Enduring Sliver, Changeling Outcast, Bellowing Elk, Savage Swipe, Volatile Claws, Rain of Revelation, and Guided Light. All right. All right, brother. And we got ourselves a, ooh, a foil spider token. There we go. For the art card, Ravenous Giant. Poor Juzam Jen. Hmm. I miss her. Alpine Guide. Thundering Jen. Again. And Generous Gift. All right. Mountain. Well, Mountain. And. Come on. Tectonic Reformation. All, All right. right. Last one. Last one. Urza Highlord, uh, just in case people were curious, is going for $46 right now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No foil in the last pack. 
Diabolic Edict, Spell Snuff, Spore Frog, Bear Goblin, and we got Urza's or Umazewa's Charm, Factor Fiction, Etchings of the Chosen, Watcher for Tomorrow, and a Forest. So yeah, we never had matching lands. Never did. Not each other. a single one. Now, Red and Six? Nope. Oh. Plain Bound Accomplice. No Red and Six, sadly, but I mean, with the number of Mythics we did pull, we had a, a really good pack here. Let's just go through real quick. Do you have the price list up? We got Force of Negation coming in at $24. We got Urza coming in at $46. So there's 70 bucks already right there. Yawgmoth coming in at 20. We have Sword of Truth and Justice coming in at 18. Mox Tantalite coming in at 12 whole monies. Sunbake Canyon coming in, $17. Nurturing Peatland coming in at $18. Did you want that out of the... Uh, yes, of the yeah, I'll take that on the side. Scale up there. And there were probably a few cards, too, that we missed. A couple uh, good ones in Kess there. is coming in at 7 Unsettled Mariner at 6 Goblin Engineer at 6 Force of Vigor is only coming in at 4 I sleeved up because I enjoy it. But all in all, good box, uh, good packs. It's going to be difficult to get your value back out of these. Um, biggest thing you can do is sit on your uncommons. Definitely sit on the rares. See what's really going to make the splash in modern. Especially the campy lands. Yep. Those are going to go up. If people say they don't, well, look at Horizon Canopy. Held at 50 to $60. The future site one being at 80 right now. Yep. If memory serves correctly. Of course. Uh, it's, it, it's up there. It's... So that's going to do it for us. Thanks again, everybody, for watching and tuning in. Please be sure to hit that like, subscribe button, leave a comment below of what you're hoping to get and what you think is going to make the biggest impact in Modern, out of Modern Horizons, as well as Legacy, Vintage, Popper, because the commons are going to be Popper legal too. So anything new that we got here, you can play in Popper. Oh, yes. So that's going to do it for us, and you guys have a fantastic evening. Stay frosty.